Pero eh, Gerard es un hombre muy sensato. Es el hombre más sensato que he conocido. Y también es un hombre muy feliz y, y muy sano de aquí. O estoy muy enamorada o es, o es así que nada. Yes, we know Shakira. Gerard is a marvelous man with an incredible IQ. But is he really the most intelligent footballer? Who actually has the biggest IQ? Let the investigation begin! What is intelligence? Hmm, that's a difficult question to answer. According to the dictionary, it's the ability to think, understand, adapt. But just because you've got good test scores doesn't mean you're a genius. Take me, for example. That being said, footballers aren't idiots. According to a study by the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, you need to have superior intellectual faculties to become an elite footballer. This study suggests that only 5% of people can attain better scores than footballers in creativity, working memory, and flexibility. Football has its fair share of brainiacs. Gerard Piquet and Mathieu Flamini are both at the head of extremely wealthy businesses. Piquet manages an investment group, while Flamini is working on creating a gasoline substitute. Knowing how to manage a business is proof of intelligence. But are there more intelligent players? Moving on to another indicator, diplomas. Football is full of players with diplomas. Juan Mata studied to become a journalist. Does he want to steal my job or something? Giorgio Chiellini has a degree in economics and did his thesis on Juventus' finances. Romelu Lukaku studied tourism and public relations. Today, he's mastered seven languages. Simon Mignolet has a degree in law and political science. As for Nigel de Jong, he has a degree in economics. He could also retrain to be a butcher if he wanted. And what can we say about Guillermo Del Dardo? He got his law degree during his playing career. Seriously, have you ever even opened a law book? Okay, diplomas aren't everything. Logic also counts. And Clark Carlisle isn't short of it. In 2002, he was voted Great Britain's most intelligent footballer after taking part in a televised game show on the BBC. In any case, if Pep Guardiola was writing this script for us, he would have certainly added a player. Philip Lahm! He's one of the most fantastic players that I've ever coached in my life and one of the most intelligent players in the world. Right! We're lost after all that information! Intelligence is probably a mixture of all of the previous criteria. So, it's hard to identify a single winner. There's no choice. We'll have to use an IQ test. PK, often presented as the most intelligent footballer, has an IQ of 140. But he's not our winner. Why? Because Frank Lampard and Park Chu Young have IQs of 150. But the biggest brain in football is. Drum roll, please. Even louder, I want the drummers to be sore tomorrow. Peter Check. His highest score in an IQ test was 158. 158! <laughs> wow! Albert Einstein had an estimated IQ of 160. But Check has never boasted about it. I discovered it by chance at school during a test, but it doesn't bring me any glory. The big IQ has no purpose if you aren't able to use it. I can't save any goals with an IQ. Well said! We're gonna give you two extra points so you're equal with Einstein. By the way, it seems he has some unfinished calculations. Do you want some homework? <laughs>